Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Alphonse IT. In previous video I have talked about the importance of C programming as well as the setup process and today's video will be about the uh, theoretic, some of the theoretical parts of the C programming uh, such as character sets, C tokens, variable, keywords and data types as well as the constants. Then let me start the video. So first of all there is the character set. Uh, in this first of all I will tell you what do you mean by character. So character denotes any alphabet, digit or special symbol used to represent or present information in the C programming. Or you can say that characters are everything that are in our keyboard, uh, keyboard button, the present on the keyboard button which you can press and can be entered in your computer. And character set on the other hand is the set of characters that are used to form words, numbers and expressions in C. Character sets are grouped in the four categories uh, that are letters, digits, special symbols, and white spaces. In the above slide, you have already seen the letters, digits, digits and special symbols as well as white spaces. So, letters means all of the letters that can be seen on the keyboard as you all know that the letters represent here all of the uppercase letter as well as the lowercase letter, and digits is from 0 to 9, and special symbols are something like at the rate star hatch and etc so one of the next important topic is C programming language or the main or the important topic in the theoretical part of the C programming language is C tokens in the C programming language C tokens are the smallest individual units uh, like as the cells in our body and uh, they are known as the basic building blocks in C language which are constructed together to write a C program now let's talk about the basic elements in the C programming language which are recognized by the C compiler. There are six basic elements recognized by C compiler in the C programming language which are keywords, strings, identifiers, special symbols, constants and operators. From now on everything that we are going to read are all of the all the elements of the C tokens. Before starting the keyword topic, so let me tell you every word in C tokens are either keyword or identifiers. So first of all, let me start with identif keywords. Keywords are the predefined words in C programming language which have fixed meaning and their meanings cannot be changed. They are already in the C programming, la programming language. We just have to put their uh, syntax in our program to use them. If you put the uh, keyword in, a C in our program, our compiler already knows about the meaning and its function and it will just compile it as far as the meaning that was already set in C programming language. Keywords are also called reserved words because they are used for predefined purposes and cannot be used as an identifier. Uh, if you want to use, uh, use a keyword as an identifier then it will show as syntax error in your program. There are total of 32 keywords in C programming language which are shown in the screen. You can just insert that if you want to. So let me go to another topic that is identifier. I have already told you that every elements in C tokens are either identifier or they are keywords. So we have already finished keywords so everything from now on will be identifiers. Every word in the C um, to refer to the name of C tokens except keywords uh, such as variables, functions, arrays, pointers and symbolic constant are called identifiers. Those are user defined names and consist a sequence of letters and digits with a letter as the first character. Because it's a user defined names, so both uppercase low and lowercase letter can be used. Although many of the times because all of the keywords are used written in lowercase and lowercase. So many of the people prefer using identifier also in the lowercase letters. But it doesn't matter, you can just write it in the uppercase letter if you want. Uh, in the for the identifier but you cannot write that for the keywords you can also use underscore in the middle of the middle of the identifiers so after reading something about the identifiers so let's start reading the rules for the identifiers there are some of the rules of identifiers so which makes it different uh, from the keywords so let me start the rules so these are the rules for the identifiers, you can just read it if you want to, but let me also read for uh, one time. So first case must be an alphabet or underscore, you cannot use uh, any of other symbols for the first character or digits for the first characters. Uh, so let's go to the rule number 2. 
most content uh, consists of only letters, digits, or underscore. From the second rule, we can clarify that the symbols are fully executed from identifiers. Also, it should not contain any white space. Only underscore is permitted. We will talk about uh, white space in the future because it is not important uh, for now. So, I will not talk about it in detail for now. So, let's go to the rule number 4. Keywords cannot be used. You can already know that keywords and the identifiers are opposite. So, keywords cannot be used as the identifiers. And only first 31 characters are significant. Now, in the rule number 6, it is uh, telling uh, it is written as it is case sensitive. That is, uppercase and lowercase are not interchangeable. You should know that I have told you in the previous video that key programming is a free form but strictly typed language. So, one of the example of strictly typed language the type is you can see that in the rule number 6. Let's see some of the examples of identifiers. So, in these slides, you can see that there is a code. Uh, it is only a basic code. It will not even give any of the output to us. In this code, you can see that there is integer. There is in the third line written int, length, and breadth. In this code, length and breadth act as a variable, which is a type of identifier. So, in this uh, code, you can see the length, breadth, and area are said to be identifiers. Now, let's go to another topic, which is constant. Constant in C refers to any of the fixed values that do not change during the execution of a program. The thing that you have to focus in this uh, constant is it is a fixed value which does not change even while the execution of a program. C constants are divided into two categories which are numeric constants and character constants which are also further divided into integer constant, real constant, so character constant and string constants. So let's go to another topic which is integer constant. Integer constants are the number of digits or you can say that it's a digit with no decimal point on it. It may be either positive or negative. Integer constant does not allow comma, blank space or some of the special symbols. So the main thing that you have to focus on integer constant is no decimal point and it's not allowing to have commas and blank, blank spaces. Integer constant is further divided into three types which are decimal, octal and hexadecimal. It's actually like the number system that you read in this uh, in the number system chapter of the computer. Decimal number systems are number system from 0 to 9 uh, uh, in with the sign of being positive or negative as the optional. While the octal consists uh, of digits from 0 to 7. The main, most important thing that you have to remember in this uh, topic is how it is represented in the C programming or our source code. So, for the hexadecimal number system, you have to write 0x uh, 0x before starting the hexadecimal number system, and for the octal number system, you have to write 0 before the number system to tell our program that it is octal number system, and for the decimal number system, you just have to write number uh, the compiler will think uh, that number as a decimal constant if it uh, doesn't add 0 or 0x zero before starting a number so let's go to the example and show you how it is represented source code the code is like this in the source code other uh, you can say that uh, you just have to type something like this in the jfc plus plus to run this code so you can see that in the c number there is written 0x f which means it is written in the hexadecimal number system and we are telling the compiler to assume that number as a hexadecimal integer constant the work, the, the work of the percentage d is to put the value integer value in the designated location as all of them are the integer value so percentage d will do their work let's move on to the another type of numeric constant that is real constant real constant means any of the percentage number that is in the fractional parts or we can normally tell it as the point part uh, it is also known as the floating points or floating points question the data that quantifier of this uh, floating constants is float it means uh, we have to use float before uh, declaring a variable we have to use float if 
if you want to use uh, a as a floating data type we represent it in two types that is fractional form constant and exponential form constant for fractional form constant we have at least one digit and a decimal point which we use in the most cases of our daily life it can be both positive or negative but if we don't uh, use any of the sign that is it is default is positive and commas and blank spaces are also not allowed in this constant so let's go to another type of constant that is exponential form constant exponential form constant is represented in two parts that is matissa and exponent uh, it is same as uh, our mathematics if you are good in mathematics then it is very easier for you to understand the type of constants or i should say the type of numeric constant so let's go to exponential form constant again exponential form constant as you as i have told earlier is represented in two parts that is mantisha and exponent uh, mantisha part may be positive or negative and it is the part that comes before the ex exponential other or e sign and the uh, exponent is a part that comes after e sign in this code you can see the written form of the exponential form or exponential constant uh, i will be highlighting this so you can easily see you can also screenshot uh, this if you want to take a read after some of the time that finalize our numeric numeric constant so let us start with the character constant character constants are divided in two types that is single character constant and the string constant so for the single character constant it is the constant with uh, which is represented with single quote sign you just have to remember that single character constant is a constant which is represented in a single quote sign and there cannot be two digits between that uh, single quote sign there is there should only be only one character or constant in that single quote sign let's move on to the example in the statement char c power 4 uh, the 4 is represented with a single quote sign so 4 is a single character constant in this code i didn't tell him about the ascii code because i he should have known about this but let me tell about it this again ascii code is a simply the short form for american standard code for information interchange uh, it's the way of representing our characters or any of the symbols or even numbers into a code number that the computer will understand if you press a button in your keyboard then the computer will understand its ascii code that is 65 you can know the ascii code of any characters by using the code that is given in the screen uh, you should take the screenshot of that code also so let's go to another type of constant that is string constant string constant is a type of constant which includes with double quotes uh, everything is same as the single cost single character constant uh, in this constant but only there is there will be double quotes uh, and the data will be between the double quotes in the note uh, there are some of the points that you should uh, value or you should focus more like single character constant x being not equal to the string constant x and you can see in the next point there is written that 5 plus 3 which is in double quote is a string rather than an arithmetic operation so you should be careful if you write any arithmetic operation in the double quote then it is be, it will be taken as the string not as your arithmetic expression this will be the end of the part i video of the second video so in another video we will be talking about the variables which is very important topic in the c programming language you should press the press the bell icon so that you could get the notification after i uploaded the barrier uploaded the video about the variable and thanks for watching till now bye bye and see you again in another video